From there, they eventually expanded to Mexico, where they were cultivated by the Aztecs. The Aztecs grew tomatoes on chinampas, which were grown in gardens around their capital city, Tenochtitlan. In the 16th century, the Spanish conquistador Don Hernán Cortés arrived in the New World. The Aztec king had first believed Cortés was the returning Quetzalcoatl, the Feather Serpent. Oh, Finally, the Aztecs were able to conquer the Mexican It was because the rich were eating of silvery fruit plates, and the tomatoes, which are high in acidity, dissolved part of the lead from the plate, and so when they ate tomatoes, they got lead poisoning. <coughs> Finally, in the 19th century, an Italian chef created a pizza to celebrate the visit of Queen Margarita to Naples. He made a pizza with three ingredients that represented the colors of the new Italian flag. Right, the tomato sauce. Right, the mozzarella cheese. And three, the basic topping. And so the pizza margarita was born, which was so successful that the tomato became a popular ingredient in many different dishes. So please enjoy this ingredient which made such beautiful travels of a different continents. On a side note, we, the French, were convinced that tomatoes had powerful aphrodisiac qualities, and so we called them Pomme d'Amour, Love Apple. So, if you go home later tonight and have a nice evening, you know what I mean? Yes, well, anyway, you can take me later. Bon appétit! Everyone, what's red, brown, and black full of flavor? Drum roll, please! Here I come! What do you think? What's red, round, and packed full of flavor? What do you think? Red, round? Oh. And what about you? What do you think I am? Red. Yeah, what, what? Oh, tomato. Oh, I like the way you said it. Yes, I'm the tomato. I'm the tomato, or tomato, yes. Yes, hello, I'm Jerry, Jerry Tomato. Bonsoir, everyone. The world continues to be enamored and enriched by the tangy burst of flavor this ingredient provides. But what is the tomato anyway? Is it a fruit or a vegetable? Who says it's a fruit? Who says it's a vegetable? Yes? Well, the tomato grows from the flower of the tomato plant, so that makes it a fruit. Yes? Oh, but that's an easy one. Here's a more challenging question. The first person to raise their hand and give the correct answer will receive a special gift. This special gift from Red Heart Vanilla and Le Petit Chien. Yes? So, wait for my signal, alright? So, the question is, can you give me the tomatoes country of origin? Go! Yes, Monsieur. Peru. Peru. Well, the tomato has been um, enjoyed by the Incas and the Mayans as far back as 780 in the Andes mountain range commonly known as modern day Peru. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's your birthday. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. All right. Happy birthday. There you go. Well, now that we know where the tomato came from, do you know where the tomato is going? In belly. my belly, yes, in your belly. Let's start eating. Well, we'll be for your first course, you'll be having the Italian burrata. So it comes with pickled onions, some marinated cherry tomatoes. You do have the basil tomato sorbet on top, parmesan crumble in the middle, and a slice of focaccia bread. And then the green one, that's an edible tomato. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Hi guys, thank you so birthday greetings. Tingnan niyo ako oh, mukhang friends. Yeah, hey, babe. Sorry, take off. Pakita ko yung food.
Hi ka. Hi. Ano yung mag-alos? Hello. It's been a while kasi since I went live. So ngayon lang ulit ako ng live. Hmm. Ngayon ka lang yan. Bot. I know it's more gary after for a while. Hello, hi Yuri. Wait, wait, you really used to say that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ASMR mode. Oh. Thank you, Ate Ate. Thank you, Sir Yuri. Oh, thank you sa pag-gift niyo. My reaction video. Kinikilig talaga ako. Alak nung ipin ko. Hindi kaya. Hi. Thank you. Oh, you know, they sent stickers. Oh, wow. I don't know. That's a bit. That's a perfect. Wow, princess. Princess, no. Parang is one link. It's like a ballerina. Thank you. It's like a ballerina. It's a nice smile. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's like a ballerina. I was like, yeah, hello, hello. Remember I used to go live at Kuma before? Yeah, different now. We don't go live on a date. Thank you. I should have a picture pa ako with this outfit. Later na. Ito may bestie guys. Ang pili niya. I'm not... Mag-audition ko na rin yan. Are you ready? Oh, I want to audition to him. No guys, no thanks. No thanks. Taga sa porta lang po. Hindi, hindi, hindi siya mag-e-Evanel kasi ano, ang dami, ang busy niya. Kasi ano, nasa ano ako, hindi ako Evanel. Kasi? Kasi? Hindi ko alam. Busy yan guys, ano yan eh. Very busy. Ano yun? Ano yung ate? Marami kang orgs nila. Marami siyang orgs. Ako ni isa wala eh. Pakit lang kasi ako. Pakit lang alam ko. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rishin. Thank you, Angelo. Thank you so much. Ang ganda ng blush mo. Ha? Ang ganda ng blush mo. Ito to. Ano, yung minix ko yung rare beauty. Tapos bronzer. Ay, parang shimmer. Ganun. Tapos, parang may ano. Not yet. Mamaya ako mag-area post. Ang kainis ang Arctic mo. Oh, so cute naman. Thank you, Ate Yanni. Sending stickers, oh. Thank you. How do we change the filter? Why about effects? Like, I want to enhance. Oh, yung effects. Voice effects. Voice effects. Chipmunks. We can't hear it, no? We can't hear it. Yeah, your mom can hear it. Chipmunks. Do we mean robot? Cute ng boy. Oh wait, nakarobot ka pa rin ata. Ito to? Hindi, wala na. Wait, sure ka? Thank you. Princess niya sa book ni. Nag-happy birthday si Vera. Thank you. Vera Marquee. Thank you. Hindi ko maubos yung tomato. Kasi diba last night, ano? Oh yeah. Yeah. Last night, diba, parang na-ano ko, na-acid reflux ako. Ito si Kuya. Uy, pakita natin si Kuya. Guys, ito yung mga friends namin. Cute. Cute, ano? Tapos, ayun siya. Working hard. 
Pero hindi siya umaalis, no? Hindi siya na yung CCR. Oh, uh, <laughs> Dito lang siya na pag-CR. Ito rin. Store. Cute niya, oh. Ito rin, ito rin. Ito rin. Ito rin. May abs yan siya. Wow! Hindi po ate. Ayan, katiri naman niya. Alam mo pagkabasa ko, hipo. Ay po. Wala ka sa may hipo. Ay, that's good na. Thank you. Sige, pagalit ko si daddy. Ito na ubos yung kinain ko. So, may lagay yung ako. Sige, sige, sige. Ayusin ko nga sarili ko. Ay, ito yung doon doon. Ay, ito yung doon. Hello guys, I'm Rihanna. Um, I'm auditioning for a support gen. Souvenir na nod ka ba dito? Souvenir na nod. Souvenir na nod. What? Souvenir. Ah, okay. I ask. Kasi sa YouTube mo kaso. Yeah, an unboxing. Thank you. Oh, okay. Ano pa lang, pamaya pag may food picture and kita, picture na lang. Ako 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 lang. Thank you, ah. Thank you, beautiful girl. Thank you, Angelo. Ay, angat. So, sabi mo, kung ako ng tomatoes galing sa Peru. Ano toto na namin, guys, na yung tomatoes galing Peru. Ano? Thank you. Ikraw na ko guys, kasi ako yung princess today. Yeah, na may siyang high pa jan. Actually, yung kinakaramin di ko nga alam na yun eh, basta kakain ko na. Kasi yung binayaran eh. Hindi ko alam mo na yun. Pero yeah, ito yung... I think nung graduation ko, dapat um, pupunta kami dito. Pero fully book. Tapos nung birthday ko, nung last year, fully book din. Ano yan? Kali siya ba kayo ng lip tip? Nung, nung event? Twenty. Nung twenty na? Actually, halata naman na yun. Nung twenty na ako kasi I'm very dalaga. Dalaga na ako. Like, sorry but, but I'm not a baby. Yung lip tint, ginagamit ni Siri. <laughs> eh kasi naman eh, biglaan lang eh. Wala akong maisip na ibang pamibigay. Kaya yung lip tint, yun ang pinagigay ko. Uy, alam nyo, gusto ko na talaga mag-live palagi. Ngayon na lang po ako dito. Kasi... Thank you. Thank you. Mm. 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 Mm.
Sepertinya. Pakita natin, pakita natin sa Ellen Loves Baby. Wait lang. <laughs> Guys, ito nga pala si Rihanna. <laughs> Ayun nga pa rin. Itong grade 7. <laughs> Idol nyo guys. Ano yun yung 24 karat yeah, yeah, magic? Yeah. I think that's during like performance, yeah, after performance. Tapos nang post ka. <laughs> Oh, Ay, the colors, the colors, and the texture, the composition. <laughs> oh, you all <laughs> look so beautiful like <laughs> <laughs> portraits of all of you. Welcome to our class, everybody. I'm your professor. Okay, guys, my, professor my class, though, for me. Bonsoir. Well, every art masterpiece begins with a blank slate, and every culinary masterpiece begins with a blank slate. Yes. Le Petit Chef equates the art of plating with painting, drawing inspiration from artists from around the world. So let's get to know some of these artists, shall we? And then, color your world through the eyes of legendary painter Vasily Kandinsky, and let his artistry speak to your soul with bold lines and vibrant hues, much like his masterpiece, Composition 8. So everyone, watch this and enjoy. How was that long ever? Uh, everybody keep their hands above the table, please. Uh, time for our next lesson. The art of plating. They say a great chef needs to be like an artist. And they are right, because you eat first with your eyes. I try to learn as much as possible from the great artists this world has known and study how they use composition, colors, and texture. To evoke emotion. 
I consider the plate as if it is a blank canvas. I usually start with sketching my ideas. I even think it's important to think about the color of the table itself. Un, deux, trois. I remember when I started cooking, I was really inspired by the Dutch painter Van Gogh. I loved so much how he used big strokes of color. Mmm, delicious! Then I discovered the Spanish artist Pablo Picasso and I decided I wanted to become a Cupid chef. Oh, I loved so much to be precise and exact that I took it to the next level and only made perfect geometrical food inspired by the Dutch painter Mondrian. Mondrian? Oh, look at that, so neat and tidy. My mother would be proud of that. But after some time, I got so bored of all this rigid perfection and I wanted to let go of all control like the action paint of the of follow. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what I was smoking at the time, but then I wanted to give my guests the idea that they are dining in a dream. Uh, inspired by the great Salvador Dali. metaphysical phase and started to be all philosophical and asked myself what is a dinner? Hmm. Inspired by the budget painter René Magritte. After this, I had the idea to serve all my courses in two camps. Not one, not two, not three, but nine courses of soup. Super double push, super double title, super main course, super dessert. Inspired by the American <laughs> pop artist Andy Warhol. Then I went ahead and left the old plate and table in fabric like the famous artist, Chris Hey, so say Osha. Finally, I discovered the most genius artist of them all, Sam Duchamp. He took the urinal, yes, you told me right, a urinal, and called it a piece of art. And this urinal became one of the most influential artworks of the 20th century. So I said to myself, I'm going to put the piece of bread on the plate and call it my dining. Yep. Yeah. Voila, finito, my job is done. Bon appetit. Well, honestly, maybe for Marcel it worked, but my customers said that my food became way too artsy farty and nobody came anymore to my restaurant. So then I told myself, I need to stop trying to reinvent dining and just go back to the basics of plating. Texture, color, and composition. Let me present to you tonight's dish, inspired by the great Russian painter Vasily Kandinsky. Just like an artist, I want people's mouths to fall open when they see the dish placed in front of them. And I hope I succeeded once again today. Bon appétit! Next, uh, so very art. 
stick yung isa-serve nila. <gasps> Ang cute! Ito, sige, ito na yung picture. Thank you, Yuri. Ako yung mga ikaw.
Até Jemima, oi, tô se frigando. Thank you for Jemima. Então, next food na mão. I might end muna guys Pero mag-live ulit ako late Mga after Kasi mamamatay na sa ito Thank you sa greetings niya Mamaya Chichek ko lang Thank you I'll be back Kumain na rin kayo ng dinner niyo Bye